Eho Riese, NPU Ombrador, Excellence. If you stand on a ladder, you can choose to remain where you are, take a step down or step up into the thin air. Let's take another step up. Imagine the pride of standing with a generous glass of non plus ultra very rare. I think that most would agree that it is absolutely fabulous. So why mess with it? Well, because we could not help ourselves. At Aho Riese we always challenge conventions in a constant quest to get closer to Nirvana. When a new batch of NPU, very rare, has passed the blender's harsh and strict requirements, and it is on its way to the craving lovers of the sweet nectar, we still choose to take some aside for further aging. Some years ago, we discovered that a new batch of the precious beer from Aho Riese matched fantastically with sweet and gentle white wines. Both the demure wines like Sauterne and Gewürztramina and the desert wines Pinot de Charente and Baume de Venise, to name just a few. We add the extra touch by putting it in selected casks that used to hold these grand white wines. It is up to you to decide whether you prefer the result or the original non plus ultra very rare. The vinous character certainly adds a greater depth. Ambre d'or means golden amber. Just as the color. It is clearly vinous on the nose, but we also get pickled yellow plums and orange peel, heather honey and slight aromatic burnt note from the oak barrels, shortbread biscuits and a light floral scented overtone. The taste of the ripe and aromatic pickled plums dominates the taste, while all the notes from the nose are present. The rich taste tones out very, very gradually. Cheers and enjoy! While you enjoy your drink, let me offer you a bit of history. Eho Riese considered himself a scientist, at this his contemporaries. The most a scientist could ever dream of at that time was to be remembered by posterity. Perhaps because of the discovery of an unknown plant, a newfound planet, or maybe a groundbreaking new theory, Aho Riese was ambitious and wanted to win fame and honor. He organized several expensive expeditions to faraway islands in the West Indians to look for that which no one else has discovered, yet. He managed to find blank spots in the flora or fauna, and he often shipped these discoveries to zoologists in Copenhagen for further studying. Riese gave lectures about plants and animals on several occasions, but only once in a scientific context, when he presented his paper on some extinct semi fossil land snails from St. Croix in Copenhagen in 1860. Riese's scientific expeditions were mainly financed by his pharmacy. The rum and other earnings from the pharmacy made Riese a wealthy man. Labels like Riese Old St. Croix rum and Riese Guava rum gave him the fame he never achieved from science. 